Hey everybody, we're back. Same day, the last set still, I'm already cranking on another set. It's amazing how much free time you have on your hands when you're not trying to... Yeah. Bullshit! Let's just leave it at that, bullshit. Because... Apparently, honesty is a little bit too much to ask for in a relationship. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, you're still here. Aye. Aye. I'll assume that Johnny. I'm sure that we are going to meet again. Uh huh. Sure we are. I'll repay my debt to you in battle. I swear it by my sword. Uh huh. The road ahead's going to be long, but I'm here to help. <laughs> so. I, and you, as a true man. Okay. Um, I think that means we can summon him for a fight later. Ah, that old bastard hit me. Okay, so... Drop an item? No. Anyway. Okay, so since we moved Pyromancer Chick... Oh wait, I could've... I think I might have been able to... Oh well. Oh crap. Basilisk. Die. Okay, hang on. That's a little loud. That is just a touch loud. Oh, we did already come in here. Oh. Okay, so there's no reason to... I guess I did already pop that bonfire. So let's actually head into the uh, Shaded Woods then. On our way to get the last great soul, which I don't think we necessarily need, but we have to go this anyway to go to the Shrine of Winter... Fading soul. The worst kind of soul you can find is only worth 50. Somebody just threw a rock at me. And it was a somebody up there. Hey, another ferrous lockstone. do I have equipped? I have the bracing thing, the ring of steel protection. Uh... <coughs> Actually, you know what? I'll just keep that on. Oh, and I did look up what the giant souls are for. There, uh, that was one of the five in the game. There are five giant souls in the game. You can consume them for 10,000 souls. Uh, but what they do is... If the ones you have in your inventory, there's an optional boss. The more giant souls you have in your inventory, out of the f up to five. So if you have more than five, go ahead and eat them. Um, the souls up to five... You, uh, it reduces the, this optional boss's, uh, 
it reduces his damage resistance. Because I guess he has a pretty beefy damage resistance. So you pretty much save up the the five giant souls and then hello who are you <laughs> Just white. Right. oh it's that guy again Kinda makes you wonder which ones. It obviously seems like Pate is uh, is the dickhead in this whole thing, but then again, well, okay, I I can kind of I can kind of relate a little bit where the guy's coming from because I am a vindictive bastard myself. I really hate it when it's like. Uh, Minor stuff I can look past, but if you really screw me over, then I am a complete dick. And trust me, I hold a grudge. And I'll openly admit that. I will openly admit, I am a terrible person. I and I don't care. Ah, there we go, another ring of life protection... Try beating to a pulp with an ambush. Right. I don't know. If someone trapped me and tried to kill me, I would probably want to kill them back. And there's a flex-tile sentry. Uh, as far as I'm aware, this is the only one in the game that's, like, a normal enemy. Ow! As you can tell, he's a lot weaker than the one on the Viking butt pirate ship. Although he does seem a little bit more aggressive. But hey, Twinkling Titanite, yo. Ah, uh, the... yeah, this is the way to the Shrine of Winter. Now, unless they've patched it to where you need all four great souls... Let's, let's see... Nope! You apparently still... you only need three of the four great souls. So... If I wanted to, I could go to Castlevania right now. Cap Castle Creepy Basement. But, eh, we might as well go get all the souls. So, which means we're going to go to Brightstone, which is actually, from the sounds of things, where Dude Pal is headed off to, to whoop Pate's ass. He didn't show up there uh, with my first character, but then again, I forgot to summon... I, I, I freed him, but I forgot to summon Pate for the... Uh, last giant boss fight so Pate didn't uh, Pate wasn't in uh, that tower he wasn't in Earthen Peak and he didn't give me a set so yeah there's that uh, up here I'll grab that I'll grab that on the way back yeah I'm gonna worry as far as I know that that sludge down there is completely harmless so Now up here is we have to get the symbol of the king which 
is a long roundabout way. You gotta go here to there, and then you gotta go do this, and you have to do some other random shit, and then you can finally get into the dungeon that has the... Finally get into the dungeon that has the fucking... Yeah. Typical RPG stuff. But, uh, actually that leads to a creepy manner where... Should be the last place where we have to talk to Lucatiel for her story, and she'll give us her armor set. Now, the shady forest area. Okay. I don't know if I want to change this out. Hmm. I don't know. I do not know. Actually, let me check one thing, since we have that Dragon uh, dragon Slayer's Crescent Axe. Oh, dude's gone. Hmm. I definitely like the attack on that better than, oh, hey, the witch stuff. I definitely like the attack on that better than the, uh, Crescent, the Crescent Axe, or, or not the Crescent, the, the, uh, Great Axe. I think I might upgrade that and see how it goes, and it might become my new primary or secondary. Okay, as you can see, there's a lot of creepy fog in the creepy forest, the creepy creepy. Now... Can you, you could just barely make him out. It kind of looks like a ghostly figure, uh, straight ahead and straight ahead of me. Yeah, it's straight ahead of where I'm looking. See, see the movement. Those assholes are actually invisible when you're up close. Fucking phantoms. Those guys are they're invisible rogues that pretty much shoot at you, and they will backstab the fuck out of you. This place sucks ass. I'm probably going to die. Uh, there is, I think, a spell, which I'm not using sorcery, so I don't need it. And there are some other random items laying around. We want to go here first and find this decapitated head and talk to it. Leave me. No, because you teach me one of the awesome fucking what gestures. Well, I want to learn a gesture. You may call me Pengal. If I deserve a name in this sorry state. It is rare to flap these guns. This is pleasant. That's that helmet everyone's wearing, Vengarl's helm. I was hired to defend the kingdom. Uh-huh. I'm going to replenish my health and energy drink. Hang on. And then regretting I don't have a willy. Actually, your body's dual wielding swords. Yeah. Problem with that is that his headless body is actually camping out in the room with the next primal bonfire. Jeez. <laughs> 
Just sitting here on this fucking pile of rocks. <laughs>